Good morning. Makes me feel like you're here. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. So we're gonna start in a few minutes in a um, restorative fish pose. So you can grab couch cushions, pillows, blocks. We can roll up a blanket. You can use a foam roller if you have a foam roller. So it'll be another minute or two before we start. If you wanna go ahead. All right, it's 10 o'clock, so let's go ahead. We're gonna start out today in a heart opening uh, river posture with the idea that we're really starting to let all of the organs up here start to like burst open and cute little buds just waiting for the moment that they can pop open. So that's kind of what we're, if you have a foam roller, you can do the same thing the edge of the foam roller right behind your shoulder blades and then your head can lay on it as well. And then you can decide whether you want your feet wide with the knees knocked in, whether you'd like to extend your, and then rest your palms face up, soften your fingers, soften all the skin on your hand and wrist, all the way up your arms into your elbow creases, become, a little easier, a little more giving, forgiving. And then take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, deep breath in. And sigh. And once more, fill all the way up. And empty out. And then seal your lips and start to breathe in and out through your nose. And with each inhale, you can feel that gathering potential. Allowing the exhale to really help you One more round, really feel the gathering potential. And then express that potential with your exhale. And then whatever your legs are doing, bring your feet back to the ground and stack your knees right over your heels like you were going to come into a bridge pose. And then you reach your arms straight up to the sky. And then on your inner and then as you exhale, bend your elbows wide into a cactus, all the way down toward your feet. And then inhale, reach your arms up and over. And then exhale, bend your elbows wide and reach your hands all the way down toward your feet. So you start to make, bend your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades, pull your arms down. And then inhale, reach up and over. And grab your opposite elbows over your head. You might need to move your ponytail or bun around if you've got one of those in the way. And really settle your head in the frame of your arms. And then drop down to your sit bones. Can you try to plug your sit bones down into the ground, which will give you a bigger back bend. You'll feel the back bend starting all the way at your tail, like you are flicking your tail up toward the back of your own heart. And then from there, Reach your navel in and up under your ribs. Let your lungs pop the four corners of your feet, your roots. 
both of your sit bones, plugging it like a plug in a socket, you into this planet. One more breath. And then reach your arms back overhead. Once more, pull your elbows wide into your cactus and stay right. Tip your elbows toward the ceiling and your fingernails toward the ground with straight wrists. And as you do that, squeeze your shoulders, soften everything. Take a full breath in, and a full breath out. Once more, full breath in, and a full breath out. Good. And then if you were on something, if you're on the block, the foam roller, the blankets, the pillows, roll to your right side. Just move those guys out of the way and come back onto your back. And just take a moment here to just feel the residue of that restorative posture, the residue of all that you've already done. And so they're parallel to the ground. Take your palms and place them on your thighs and straighten your arms. So this becomes like a bracket. Push your hands into your thighs so you start to light up the top of your abdominal muscles and then pull your thighs back into your hands to bring the work down into the low belly, your transverse abdominal muscles, all the deep core. So even if we were in class together, I wouldn't be able to tell how hard you're working because it's really, as you do that, can you breathe wide across your collarbones, big into the top of your lungs as you really fortify your low belly. You might even start to shake. Holding for three, push and pull, push and pull, navel down, left arm up and over. And then inhale, come back to center. And exhale, left heel down, right arm up and over. And you'll keep repeating that, moving really slow so your breath stays nice and controlled. And with this slow movement, you can really, really focus on the actions in your belly. So the real purpose is that we're moving the leg and arms to create instability, and then we're using our deep core to find the stability within the instability. And let's find two more pair. Draw your navel down. Feel and find your stability. The center of yourself. When you're done with those two pair, hug your knees in. Open up your feet so they're not touching. And you're just going to make big circles with your knees in opposite directions. Switch the direction. And then hug your knees back as possible. So you are living in the center of that polarity. You are the mediator of the push and the pull. And then even here, can you plug your arm bones into the ground and pop open your lungs? You might even feel your upper back or middle back lift off the ground as you pull, 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 and push, push, push. One more breath. And then hug your knees back in. And we'll start to rock and roll forward and back, forward and back. You can hold onto your thighs, you can hold onto your shins. Keep massage up your mat, coming into ragdoll. And then bend your knees, let your knees be so soft. Feel as though you could yawn the back of your thigh open. And if you think about an actual yawn, your upper jaw and your lower jaw are moving away from one another. So can you feel as you yawn the back of the thigh open that you're moving up through your sit bones? Then release your elbows if you have them. 
Bring your hands onto your shins and look wide in your collarbones. And then exhale, fold and half fold. Get three more with your breath, like you are a wave. And each inhale, exhale, fold. And then big breath, rise all the way up. And exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up, feel your feet rooting as you rise. Exhale, draw it in. And once more, from earth to sky, you in the middle, the bridge, draw it in. And then land your hands at your heart. I'm going to open our palms up into lotus. Slide in through those collarbones. Feel the muscles of your upper back supporting your heart. And like you could offer it up. And you could think about this mudra as both an offering and a receiving. Like, inhale, offer it up. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, sweep your arms down, around, and up. Exhale, fold in half. Good. Inhale to lengthen your spine. And then plant your hands, step it back. You're popping your booty. And then on your exhale, carve your tail underneath you like your Pee Wee Herman. And then inhale, untuck it, pop it up. In and out. Once more, inhale. And exhale. And then find the middle, halfway between the tuck and the pop. And then exhale, lower all the way to your belly. And untuck your toes, find all of your toenails, and then widen your hands so they're wider than your mat and come onto your fingertips. And bend your elbows so they're right over your wrists. And then push into your fingertips and feel your shoulder blades hug toward one another, just like you did if you were earlier laying on the blanket or the blocks. And then as you hug in, widen the collarbones, lift your shoulders, to the height of your elbows. Lengthen your nose forward. You're pushing a marble with your nose. And keep the back of your neck long. And find your toenails. Take a breath in. And then exhale, drop your right cheek, right shoulder. And inhale back to elbow height. And then keep that going. Keep shoulder sockets. Let's find one more on each side to the left. And then on to your right. And then come back up. And then exhale, lower down. Press yourself to tabletop. And find your measure. It's your shoulder in time. And on your inhale, round into cap. And then exhale forward into cap. And let the exhale burst your heart forth. Once more. You stay in your back bend, in your cow pose. Tuck your and then keep your knees bent. Open up the back of the thigh by yawning the hips up and the knees down. One more breath. And then look forward and step or float your feet up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big breath, rise all the way up. From here, start to bend your knees. As you bend your knees, flip your tail up into your palms so you get that back bend. Keep bending and folding all the way forward and then release your hands. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, plank pose. In front of your plank pose, take a full breath in. And then exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Again, widen your hands as wide as the mat. Lengthen your legs, untuck your toes. Come onto your fingertips. Root down into your fingertips, hug your shoulder blades toward one another. And then lift your shoulders to elbow height. And from here, we're going to take it a little bit deeper. So you're going to keep pressing into your fingertips. Start to bend your elbows backward. 
pull your heart forward. And then exhale, lower down even longer. Hug your elbows backward as you pull your heart forward. Maybe you lift up higher. And then exhale, lower it all the way down. Lift your shoulders to elbow height. Keep working the upper back. Then hug your elbows back. Pull your lungs through. Take a big breath in. And then lower it all the way down. And press yourself back to table. And this time, you can flip your palms backward in your tabletop. And then look down and do a check for yourself. So sometimes when we flip our palms backward, we become a little funnel between the shoulders and the wrists. So widen yourself so you have a frame. And then one way to really get the edges of your frame is to bend your elbows a little and swing them wide. So you can see if you're looking at me, it is a pretty good frame. I'm using the video to help me. <laughs> All right, and then from there, again, find the pointer finger mound to the pinky heel of your hand. And then the pinky mound to the thumb heel of your hand. And then inhale, round heart to pull your heart through. And then inhale, round. And exhale, open it up. Three more. Come back to down dog by leading with your hips. Shift the weight so it's moving forward into the front of your hand, like the pink, the pads of your fingers and the pads of your palm right under your fingers. So it's almost like you could lift the heel of your hand up. And as you shift the weight forward into the pads of your hands, reach your seat up and away from that. Get long. Pockets or to your hips, hug your elbows backward. If you like a third variation, you can make fists and put them right under the big toe mounds as you pop your heart up, your lungs up, your collarbones wide. Fill yourself up with breath. And then start to bend your knees, flick your tail up into your own hand. And this time, hold on to the edges of your mat with your hands. Really grip the mat. Back bend. The sternum reaching forward. Your arms plugging back. Your elbows plugging in. Maybe you straighten your arms all the way. Okay, so from here, you're going to take your right knee across your left knee and widen your feet. Get your knees real close together like you were bolting them together. They were the bolts of a pair of scissors. And then find all your toenails as best you can. And so your right leg is in front. You're going to flip your right palm backwards, just the right palm. And check to make sure you still And feel the weight shifting around your whole palm. It's like you're really point pushing down through each of those bony landmarks. Pinky heel, thumb heel, pointer pad, pinky pad. Drawing the wrists are getting into it. And then press pause. And now you're going to make just circles with your tailbone sliding around the shoulder socket. And your legs are still, but your leg bones are sliding around in your hip socket. Knee heel to thumb heel to pointer pad to pinky pad. And then you circle that square. You make it spherical. So your hips are stirring around with you. Everything's moving. And then press pause and then make it only about your tailbone. Moving counterclockwise, just the tail drawing a circle. Up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left. And everything else just moves as a reaction. Keep rooted through your legs, rooted through your palms. Get out of the heel and reach up and away from that. Find the length and the strength. Into your heart. Inhale, arms to the sky. 
Exhale, fold and half. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Plant your hands, step it back to plank. Keep your feet wide. We're going to slow a little bit. Waking up some energy through the arms, straight up into the lungs and heart. Drop your heels to the right. Sweep your left arm down. And can you even it out? You can come back to plank pose. Take a full. And look forward, step or float your feet up. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands. Plank pose, wide feet. This time we'll move just the feet. Twice more on each side. Come back to your plank pose, take a full breath in. Exhale, chaturanga or to your belly. Inhale, open it up, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Take three full breaths in your downward facing dog. And look forward and step or float your feet up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big breath, rise to stand, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Last one, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank pose. Full side plank on your right. Roll to the pinky side. Keep your feet staggered or stacked. Reach your left arm over your ear. Then can you first turn your gaze up to the ceiling and then find the inner edge of your palm as you start to turn the heart up to the ceiling as well. Take one more breath and then plant your hands, come back to plank. We'll find that on the other side, roll to your left. Reach your right arm up or over and then first look up with your gaze, then find the inner edge of your palm as you open up across your chest, lift your heart up. Let's a little back bend. And then come back to plank pose, take a full breath in. Your choice, chaturanga or to your belly. Inhale to your back bend, wide, wide collarbones. Exhale, downward facing. Three full breaths here, in and out. And look forward, step or float your feet forward. Inhale to lengthen, exhale fold. Big breath, rise to stand, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Interlock your fingers behind you, hug your heels of your hands together. Bend your knees, pop open your lungs. And take a full breath in, and then start to bend your knees even more. So you're in a chair pose. Flick your tail up and back behind you. Draw your navel in and up. And then like a waterfall, belly to your thighs, ribs, heart, full. Good. And then release your hands to the ground. Separate your feet, hips with distance apart, and find yoga toe grip, padangustasana around your big toes. Hold on tight, bend your elbows, and fold in half. And take 10 deep breaths here. Release your toe grip, plant your hands, step it back to plank pose. And from your plank pose, vinyasa or press back to down dog. And 
and lunge your right foot forward. And find a nice long stance. Feet on train tracks. Lift your left heel. And bend your right knee to 90. And widen your hands to 10 and 2 and look forward. Flick your tail up. Bend your right knee into your armpit. And from here, spin your back heel to the ground. And rise up, warrior one. Up here, you can hold on to opposite elbows. And as you hold on to opposite elbows, imagine you are opening a window to let your lungs breathe. Opening a window to let your heart beat. Give it space. Keep wrapping your left outer hip around. Root down through the right heel. And from here, keep holding on to your elbows. Come onto the ball of your back foot. Step your left foot up to meet your right in chair pose. Keep holding on to your elbows. Reach them up, up, up. Extend your arms up. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, float your right foot. Widen through your left sit bone. You're going to take your right foot, crisscross behind your left, really wide. So from the front, it looks like this. Bend your left knee and wide in your hands. And then get bouncy in that back leg so you can bounce all the way back to stand. Arms up. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands and step it back to plank pose. Your choice, vinyasa or right back to down. And from your down dog, lunge your left foot forward. Widen your hands to 10 and 2. And then find the lift. Stay buoyant through the right hip, the right heel. Press the left knee into the left armpit. Open up across your chest. And spin your right heel to the ground. Rise up, warrior one. Again, grab opposite, opposite elbows and open up those windows. Dig down to the right outer heel and wrap your right hip around to the front. Dig down through the left big toe mound and draw your left hip crease back. And come onto the ball of your right foot. Bounce your right foot up to meet your left in the chair pose. Reach your arms up. And then come onto the right foot, hover your left foot. Widen your right seat. And then sweep your left leg across and widen your hands. Bend your right knee. Push to your left heel. Hug your inner legs toward one another. And then bounce it back up. Stand and then exhale, fold. Then inhale to lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, plank to chaturanga, to down dog, however you'd like to get there. Make it spicy or keep it easy. Okay, and then look forward and step or float your feet up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big breath, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Interlock your fingers behind you. Lift your chest, pop it open. Draw your navel up as you sit down in the chair. And really flick it back. Sitting back, 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 opening the heart forward and up. And then start to fold, lead with your heart. Keep reaching it forward. 
as you drape over your legs. And then again, release your hands down. Second round of Padangustasana, grab your big toes with your peace fingers. And this time we'll be here for five breaths. So we're holding on to the toes energetically because this, the inside of the big toe is where your liver meridian starts. And the liver is the organ of springtime. And it's all about doing, living, it's the liver. And so it has a lot to do with all that bursting forth all of the action and activity to really manifest your ideas. Then let go of your big toes. Inhale to lengthen. Okay, plant your hands and step your left foot back. Long lunge. Spin your left heel to the ground. Look forward. Sweep your arms behind you. Interlock your fingers. Open up across your chest. You can stay just like this, really opening up through the chest and looking forward to your potential, your power. Or you can dive it forward and look back at your past, where you came from, your memories. But even if you're looking back, can you keep your heart open in a back bend? Your lungs spacious in the front. Okay, and then come onto the ball of your left foot. Step your left foot up to meet your right foot. You're sitting in your chair pose with arms behind you. Sweep your arms all the way up. Shift the weight into your left foot. Hover your right leg. Sweep it behind you into that crisscross squat. And then inhale, stand up, both feet together. And exhale, hands to your heart. Hug your right knee into your belly. Hook your right ankle over your left thigh and sit down. Widen your seat, left to right. Flex your right foot. Push through the gas pedal of the big toe mound. Stand up, hug your right knee in. And then put your right foot down. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Interlock your fingers behind you. Squeeze the heels of your hands together, even if that means a bend in your elbows. And then push that single fist, that third hand down as you pop open your lungs. And then bend your knees, sit down. Breathe into the front of your lungs. And then start to drape all the way over with a long spine. Relax your head, take a breath or two. And then release your hands to the ground. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back. Long lunge, find your measure, and then spin your right heel to the ground. Still 90 in the front leg. Still on train tracks or bicycle pedals. Interlock your fingers behind you with the weird thumb on front. And then open up through your chest. But stay here and find your roots, especially your back outer heel. Open up across your lungs. Look forward or fold inside the knee and look backward. And either way, can you really wrap your right hip around and hug your left hip under? And then come onto the ball of your right foot. Spring your right foot up to meet your left foot down in the chair. Open your lungs. Sweep your arms up. Stand in your right foot. Hug your left knee up just a little. Feel the weight in your right leg. And then sweep it across and behind and widen. And then come back to stand. Both arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Hug your left knee into your belly. Hook your left ankle over your right thigh. Bend, sit down, hinge at your hips, and bump your left hip over like you're shutting a car door. And 
and then come back to stand, both arms up, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good, this time, keep your hands at your heart and sit down in the chair pose. And from there, we'll find a twist. So your left arm across your right leg, as high to the knee and the armpit as you can get. If you're near a wall, what I really like to do is sit in the wall. Stack the knees right over your heels and then find your twist there. And you can use the wall, the information of the plug of your sit bones in the wall to find level pelvis and a twist around the spin of your spine. Feel free to split your arms or keep your hands in prayer. And then inhale back to chair pose, arms up. And then exhale, fold in half. If you moved off the wall, come back to your mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And then step your left foot back. Spin your left heel to the ground. Warrior one, rise all the way up. And straighten your right leg. And bend your right knee. And straighten. And bend. And once more, straighten. And bend. And then straighten your right leg. Bring your right hand to your right hip crease. Put a little bend in your right knee so you can feel the weight moving toward the big toe mound of your foot. And then use your right hand to fold right over your right hip crease. Your left hand on the ground. And then maybe your right hand on the ground as well. So you're in Parasvottanasana. And find that dig of your left heel. And keep wrapping your left hip around. That soft, easy bend in the right knee so you have more mobility in your hips. You're not rigid and locked out. You can have currency passing through all of your joints. And from here, put your right hand inside of your right foot. I like to turn my palm backwards or I'll say on my fingertips, turn the palm backwards and connect your shin to your arm. Bring your left hand to your sacrum and look forward. Flip your tail up into your hand and then keep your legs sturdy as you turn it open into triangle. And then from your triangle pose, you can bend your right knee, reach your right arm forward, maybe on a block, maybe on your bed or couch. Lift your left leg up into half moon. Your hand can stay on your sacrum, come to your hip, reach up to the sky. Can you pull your heart through? Give your lungs and heart space. Space is a resource that's necessary for growth. Necessary for things to function properly. Reach, 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 and give yourself space, your organs space. Okay. And then bend your right knee. Bring your left hand down. Step your left foot next to your right foot. Inhale, chair pose. Shift the weight into your left foot. Hover your right foot. Widen your left sit bone. Crisscross. Right leg back, arms wide. Stand up, arms to the sky, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Hug your right knee into your belly. You're going to take it a little further this time. Hook your right ankle over your left thigh and sit down. And then hold on to your right big toe with your right yoga toe grip, hands to your hips, stand all the way up. Reach your right leg forward for Uttita Hasta Padangustasana. And then start to open your right leg out to the right, your left arm out to the left. You can see I have a little bend in my knee. <laughs> I 
and then come back to center, hand to your hip, bend forward over your leg, <laughs> and then let that go, come all the way back to stand. Inhale your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Sit down into chair pose. And then we'll twist your right arm over your left leg. And if you'd like, sit on a wall. Find your twist on your spit. And inhale back to chair. And exhale, fold in half. Inhale to lengthen, and then step your right foot back, long lunge, spin your right heel to the ground, rise up, warrior one, and then straighten your left leg, and bend your left leg. Straighten, and bend. Okay, once more, straighten, and bend, and then straighten your left leg, Bring your left hand to your hip, root down into the left big toe mount, and start to fold right at the hip crease, right hand to the ground. Bend that left knee as much as you need to fold at your hip crease. And then your left hand can come down as well. And find your anchors through outer right heel, left big toe mount through left outer heel. Bring your hands inside. Come onto your fingertips. Connect your forearm to your thigh. Bring your right hand to your sacrum. Flick your tail. Open your lungs forward. And then start to turn your torso into triangle. Maybe reach your arm up or keep it at your hips. Keep digging into the mat with your feet, spiraling around your spine. And then bring your right hand back to your hip. Left arm out in front for half moon. Reach up at least with your collarbone, if not your whole arm. And give yourself that space. From the sides of your waist, the sides of your ribs, your lungs. And bend your left knee, turn yourself to the ground, right hand to the ground, right foot next to your left foot, sit down into chair pose. Shift the weight into your right foot, hover your left foot, and then sweep your left leg crisscross behind, widen your arms. Come all the way back to stand, arms to the sky, and then exhale, hands to your heart. And hug your left knee into your belly. Hook your ankle over your thigh, sit it down. And then from there, right hand to your hip, left yoga toe grip, rise up. Pop your left leg forward. And open yourself up. Can you lift your heart here? And you widen your collarbones. And then come back to center. Hand back to your hip. You can fold over your leg. And then release your left foot down to your right foot. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen your spine. You plant your hands. And step your left foot back. And this time, lower your left knee to the ground. Untuck your toes. And rise up for Anjaneyasana. And feel free to grab your elbows up here. And really lift yourself up. Hug your inner legs together. And let your lungs have space. Pop them open. You want to go further, interlock your hands behind your head, squeeze your elbows in and up. So your elbows point straight up, 
and the front of your lungs point straight up. And then release your hands to the ground. Shift yourself back to a half split. Feel free to move forward into a fuller split. And from here, we're gonna sit all the way back. So you'll untuck your left toes and sit down inside your foot. You can sit on pillows, on your blanket, on your blocks, whatever you need here, and then plant your right foot. Come under your palms behind you. Press into your palms and open up your lungs. Find your back bend first, and then root into your feet and lift your hips. And to drive it, really root down through all your left toenails. And then from here, you can lower yourself back down. You can stay just like this, popped open. You can do the same thing on your forearms or come onto your back or onto the blocks or blankets, whatever you need back here. And we'll take a few breaths here. Keep the right foot rooted from the big toe mound and the left foot rooted from the pinky toenail. And one more breath. And then lift yourself back up. And then walk your hands forward, back to half moon pose. So lift your left leg up. Open your left arm up. If you like, bend your left knee. Grab your foot for Chapasana. Ardha Chandra Chapasana. The sugar cane dancing in the moonlight. And find your back bend all the way through the crown of your head and the big toe. Okay, and then release your left leg. Bend your right knee, lower your hand, lower your foot. Inhale, lengthen. And then step your right foot back. Lower your right knee, untuck your toes, rise up, Asana. Grab your elbows, opposite, opposite elbows, reach up. Maybe interlock your hands behind you, elbows in and up, lungs forward and up. And then release your hands to the ground. Shift yourself back to a half split. Ardha Hanumanasana, feel free to move forward into a fuller version. And then from there, pull yourself back together if you were extended. And then we'll walk ourselves back. Untuck your right toes, walk yourselves back so you sit inside your right foot. And plant your left foot. Plant your hands. Pop open your lungs. And then we'll lift your hips and find your left, your right rather, right toenails. Breathe up the stem of your arms. And lower your seat back down. Feel free to stay here with it. The chest popped open. Come to your forearms. Or come all the way onto your back, onto blocks, blankets, pillows. And then find your two little petals. The right pinky toenail in the left big toe mound. And take a few breaths up into your lung space, up into your thoracic cavity. Keep 
Each inhale like the swell of a wave. And each exhale like it crashes to shore. Each inhale like the bud of a flower. And each exhale like the petals popping open. And as you're ready, make your way back up. Shift yourself forward, left hand forward, lift your right leg up and open to Ardha Chandra, right arm up, and then maybe bend your right knee, grab your foot, kick it back, head to toe, heart bursting, full of love. Gently let that go. Turn to the ground. Step your right foot down. Widen your legs to yogi squat and take a seat. Find this neutrality in your hips and your spine, across your collarbones. And then from here, we're going to sit all the way down. Bring your legs out in front of you for Navasana or boat pose. Onto your thighs. Lean back and open your chest first. Lift your legs Ooh. to the height of your knees. Then keep opening across your chest as you hug your belly back. And then reach your arms forward. You can breathe up. Fill up. Feel your potential, your potency, your power. And then lower into a low boat. Ardha Navasana. Press your low back into the ground. One more breath. And then lower all the way down. Plant your feet. Prepare yourself for bridge pose. If you'd like to take the restorative version, slide any props under your hips and lift yourself up into a restorative supported bridge pose. If you're following along with me, we'll reach your arms by your sides, press your palms down, and really already widen your collarbones. Like you're pressing the back of your arm bones, the back of your armpits into the ground. And then from there, root through your feet, lift your hips. And interlock your fingers behind you. Keep pressing down through the back of your armpits to open up across your chest, your lungs, the front of your hips. Take three more breaths here. Press down to lift up, root to rise. And as you're ready, you can slowly roll down your spine. Take a full breath in, and a full breath out. And you can repeat bridge pose, or we can find wheel pose. So bridge pose, do the same thing we did before. Find the backs of your armpits as you lift your hips. For wheel pose, plant your hands next to your uh, shoulders, fingers spacing your heels. Lift your hips, root into your hands to lift your chest. Then find your big toe mounds. Find your inner hands to outer hand. Spin your armpits toward your face. Take as many breaths as you'd like up there, feeling that expansion, the expansion of your capacity. And whenever you're ready to come down, we'll all meet on our back with your feet wide and your knees knocked in. We'll take an easy twist here. Keep your feet wide. Knock your knees over to the right. Take your right ankle over your left knee and just help it there. You can reach your right arm your left arm rather, all the way up overhead, and hold onto the wrist with your right hand. 
and tug it away. So now you have length between your left knee all the way across the left side into your left fingers. And then let that go. Uncross your legs, come back to center. And then drop your knees to the left. Flex your left foot, put it over your right knee. Reach your right arm up, hold onto your wrist with your hand. And then lengthen knee and hand away from one another. And then drape your rib cage in toward the ground. And breathe across the space. And then come back to center. Feel free to hug yourself or find one more happy baby pose or maybe one more stirring of those knees in opposite directions. And as you are ready, settle yourself down into Shavasana. Feel free to move yourself to a wall and take legs up the wall. And take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Deep breath in and sigh. Once more, feel all the way up. And then let go of your conscious breath. Let it move in and out naturally. Your whole body becomes heavy and soft. Like you are laying on the grass. I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream and let you rest in Shavasana. Please feel free to be here as long as you'd like. Thank you so much for sharing yourself, your space and time with me. Namaste.